Hi everyone! Today I'm super excited about this project. We're making a farmhouse pillow cover and we're using our brand new Couture inks and our Couture pillow covers. They come in a two-pack for $18.99 and we are going to be making grain sack stripes and the rooster. So here we go. So you'll notice that I've got it all taped off with painter's tape and I ran my squeegee over it beforehand to just make sure it was really pressed down. And the little pieces at the top are just to keep it off my workspace. I probably should have done it on the bottom too because I got it everywhere. So I'm hurrying and between each stripe I am blow drying just to make sure it's dry and I don't smudge it up. One of the key things with our inks is that they absorb into the fabric and so you want to use very little. So where with paste I would normally slather this on and then just scrape it right down. With the ink, I want to be a little more careful um, so that it doesn't absorb in and get splotchy. So, and of course I'm drying. I want it really dry. And I'm going to do the same thing on the other side to get my little thin stripes. Now it's a little tricky down at the bottom because the zipper's there. So I've got a little bit of lifting, which means I'm going to have a little smudgies, a little smudgy area right there, but it's okay because, you know, it's not, it doesn't have to be perfect. And as soon as I get these all super, super dry, I don't want to smudge them or get it anywhere, and I pull this tape off. So as I start to pull the tape off, you can kind of see what it looks like. Isn't that fun? So I was super excited to play with the inks. I've been wanting to do something like this forever. And this is kind of a cost-effective way instead of buying really expensive grain sack fabric we can just kind of make our own with our inks. Okay and I'm cleaning up my area because I don't want to get ink anywhere. Alright so for the thicker stripe I'm going to go ahead and tape another line. You can kind of see through painters tape but not really so it takes a second to kind of get it lined up. Do the other side. Make sure it's pressed down really really well so I don't get any overlap or any uh, bleeding underneath a little bit at the top. Now you'll notice that when I'm taping this I'm actually taping past the edge of the pillow cover that just kind of helps keep it in place. I do have an ink mat on the inside to keep my fabric nice and snug but I wanted to keep it stuck to my surface as well and so as I taped it I went over it that way. Alright so I'm going to go back I'm going to blow dry this and show you what it looks like. And then I'm going to do the other side, so you'd want to do this to both sides, but we're going, to, we're going to skip that through the magic of video. And voila, there's the one side. And we'll be skipping over that and going right to our rooster. And you want to make sure this is super, super dry. Okay, so here's the rooster transfer. I got it already pressed down super well. One thing I didn't do that I should have is go over the whole thing with the squeegee before I inked it just to make sure it was pressed down. I did have a little movement on the transfer as I was going and so I was having to be a little more careful. Uh, so when you do it you'll want to make sure you really press it down onto your fabric. And then I took my little squeegee to get around the edges a little bit. One of the things you'll notice that I do is when I put more ink on I'm putting it on the green part of the transfer because I don't want to put it on the open mesh where it will absorb into Quickly. So then I'm just bringing it and I'm pulling it. You can, I like to pull a little bit diagonally just probably because I'm left-handed and it just works better for me that way. Um, you can do it straight down. You just want to kind of, with the inks, especially on fabric, you want to keep going in one direction as much as possible, especially on the big areas, so that they don't, um, you know, get that movement. And then make sure you get those little tiny edges right down in there. And here we go. And there's our pillowcase. Isn't that cute? And here's our finished pillow all stuffed and on its, in its place on the couch. So a couple of things I didn't show you in the video that are super important. The first one is I used an ink mat inside the pillow cover. Ours are sized specifically for our pillow covers and you want to get those in there and smooth the fabric down. That helps keep it from shifting and moving around. It really makes a huge difference. It's not necessarily a step you want to skip. The other thing I did is I blow dried the heck out of that rooster um, before I took the ink mat out of the pillow cover because I didn't want to get any smudging. The ink we have, because it's a multi-surface use ink as opposed to just a fabric ink, tends to take a little bit longer to dry. So you want to hit it with the medium blow dryer for a little bit longer until it's 
until it's really dry. And then take your ink mat out to heat set it so that it doesn't wash out. Um, you're going to use parchment paper over the top of it and a medium iron for four minutes on each side. I think with pillow covers, I'd probably maybe just do the top and not worry about flipping it over and doing the bottom simply because they're not going to get washed very often. But if you're doing this with t-shirts or tea towels, you're definitely going to want to do both sides. Uh, you can also use a Cricut Easy Press. Those are super fun or any heat press will work just as well. So I hope you enjoyed this project and we'll be back again with another one soon. Thanks.